angry guy here. And today we're discussing why Tyrone is lashing out at passport bros for abandoning society. So guys, we are brothers here. And when we have issues, we talk about them amongst ourselves. And today, you know, I have to talk to the black bros because, you know, you guys have, are breaking a lot of hearts and creating a lot of issues for some for women and some men in Western society. Tyrone is lashing out at password bros for abandoning society. And this is directed especially at the black men coming from Tyrone. He is extremely furious about what he's seeing happening here and he has some very choice words for you guys so we're going to play the video it's actually sent over to some sent over by to me by someone and i was just really taken back by this but i can understand where tyrone is coming from because you men don't want to step up anymore you know you don't want to be step up dads you don't want to help take care of the children that need fathers you know, you don't want to play your role. You don't want to help your communities anymore. Well, they're not really communities. They're more like wastelands. But you don't want to help these communities anymore, you know, and these single mothers who need you to be that anchor that they need after Tyrone, Ray Ray, Pookie, and Enrique, you know, Little Poncho. They love Little Poncho, you know, went in and he put that, and he, you know, they, they planted that seed. And now there are, there are all these children that need need your support and you don't want to do it anymore and instead of being real men y'all are fleeing the country and going overseas to start new lives with filipino wives and other foreign women so anyway let's go ahead and just jump into this and hear what tyrone has to say because a lot of you guys have just i don't know i just don't know but play bro a lot of you password bros you wifing these goddamn prostitutes up and and I'm just saying, man, you're not really wifing them up. You you basically get into relationships with hookers and hoes overseas, bro. And it makes me mad. You see what I'm saying? It makes me mad and it makes me upset that black men are not getting good stuff. It makes me upset that black men are not getting good stuff. You get you getting the cream. Of the dirt, <laughs> you're not getting the cream of the crop. You're getting the cream of the dirt, bro. And then you, you you talking about don't worry about what another man is doing. Don't worry about what another man is doing. I'm like nigga, I'm gonna worry about what another man is doing as long as that motherfucker look like me. You see what I'm saying? Don't worry about what another man is doing. Don't worry about what another man is doing. I'm going to worry about what, what that nigga is doing because he's, he's representing me, bro. And you niggas are, are getting these ugly women from Thailand and Philippines. You getting these, these hookers, these hoes. And you sleeping with them, bro. And you getting into a relationship with these hookers, these hoes. They're prostitutes, bro. And then you lie about, you know, talking about, well, I was with this female. I met her at the library. And like, bitch, you ain't met that motherfucking bitch at the library. What the fuck you talking about, bro? Shut up. You know what I'm saying? And you simping at the same goddamn time. You simping at the same goddamn time. Okay. You going overseas and you out here just just simping it up, bro. You marrying well, you ain't marrying these females. I ain't seen not a goddamn passport, bro, that's marrying these these hookers. But you getting into relationships with these hookers and these hoes, and do you wonder why these women they fucking like play you like that? <laughs> you getting played, bro. You feel me? I, I'm bad, bro, because the black man should be doing better. 
You should be doing better, bro. You should be getting women that that are attractive. No travel versity, bro. You don't have a woman that's attractive. You don't. You don't. The female that you with, she's good from the neck down, bro. And I told you, the face matters too, man. I told you niggas how to have standards. The face matters when it comes to attraction, bro. Some niggas are so caught up with the, 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 the um, you so caught up with the face. I mean, I mean, the body, I mean, you so caught up with the body or how she look with the body. But what about the face, bro? You see what I'm saying? You know, what about the face? Oh, man, you know, the face ain't important. Yes, it is. I mean, bro, come on, bro. Stop. Stop. Please stop. The fucking the fucking face is important because if you have babies with the woman, uh, the babies are going to inherit her bad looks. Like, for example, you have a if you have a, a baby with a unattractive female, your babies are going to come unattractive. That's what I'm saying. And then you wonder why. You don't got good looking kids. My mother used to always tell me all the time, watch what your fucking kids look like. You know, don't be out here creating just any old thing. Watch what your fucking kids look like. You know, and your passport, bros, you don't care about, you know, uh, what your kids look like. Because I'm seeing you niggas out there with these, these, these thoughts and these hookers that just look like one, two. Bro, you ain't getting nothing good. And I see niggas on, 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 on online talking about, you know, passport bros are winning and all the other shit. No, they not. Passport bros are not fucking winning, bro. They not. <sighs> oh, my Kel Kat yawning, man. Shit. I done had a few. I done had. A, I mean, shit. I done had a few drinks, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro, like, a lot of cats don't get it, bro. You know, you don't get it. Go overseas with the intentions to get a beautiful woman, bro, not some some female that's straight up just, you know, <sighs> some female that look like who'd have thought it. You see what I'm saying? Fuck all that, bro. Stop messing with these females that are unattractive. And you in your mind, you thinking that they're attractive, but they're not. A four is not attractive, bro. I told you about that female that I was with the other night, man. She was not attractive. The only reason why I end up kissing that female, it, you know, the reason why I end up kissing her, because I was drunk and I was horny. If I was sober, I would never had fucking kissed that female, bro. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video, man. You guys have a good night, dude. Y'all, so this is you, you see what reality looks like. So Tyrone is furious. He is labeling essentially all women that the password kings are going overseas and getting into relationships with as ladies of the night and uh, you know the level of disrespect coming out of his mouth is horrible he's saying they're unattractive he's saying that the men are doing terrible things they're having kids with these women who are not attractive they're creating unattractive kids y'all this is insane stuff i mean you, you can you can see it for yourself this man is so afraid of the passport kings you know, and look at what he's out here doing. He's around here creeping around, doing what they always do, making more babies they can't take care of. All right. He said it him, himself. He's intoxicated, heavily intoxicated, really shouldn't be on the Internet putting out videos like this. You know, he's, he's upset. And I understand this matter is upset because you kings are leaving and you're not taking care of his kids anymore. You don't want to take care of his kids anymore. Men like these have 13 kids in, in, what's, in what's left of the African American community, which is not which is not really a community, it's a wasteland. 
and you know not you know you guys especially specifically you black guys you're the step up dads you know you're the cleanup crew so after tyrone ray ray pookie enrique miguel poncho little poncho they love little poncho Pon little poncho he's such a staple in the african-american community you know and you don't want to take care of these kids anymore you don't want to be step up dads like god put you here to be you know you don't want to take care you don't want to you don't want to you know you don't want to be responsible anymore okay you don't want to, you know, do what God wants you to do, to be responsible for your, you know, be your brother's keeper, just like a good Christian and take care of the kids that got left behind, you know, that got left behind. This is what you men have always done. And now you all are walking away, leaving the country, running out of the country, not coming back, going over to the Philippines, going over to Thailand, going over to Colombia, South America going to all of these different countries, pulling baddies over there, getting married, having kids. And Tyrone is upset about this. He's upset about this. I mean, he's there. He's sitting, it looks like he was, he was sitting in his car, crying in his car, and he's just furious because if, if you're not paying for these kids, somebody's going to have to pay for these kids. You know, the government is going to start knock, start knocking on his door, which is something that's unacceptable, saying, well, all right, listen, man, well, you have to start paying for these kids. And he's going to respond and say, what are you talking about? You know, there, we have step-up dads for that. You know, I plant the seed, I plant I plant the seed, and then a step-up dad steps in, and he raises the flower. And they're like, listen, yeah, I'm sorry about this, man. You know, we were working things. Because the state, the state in Tyrone, state, Tyrone, Buki, Ray Ray, Enrique, Pancho, Miguel, Little Pancho, you know, the state, these men and women, they all work together. They all know each other. You know, they work together to get your money. And the state is stepping in and letting him know, listen, man, we're sorry about this, but you got to take care of these kids because these are the men. They're leaving. You know, in fact, they're not even here anymore. They've already left. They're going overseas. They're having children over there, starting new lives over there. There's not nothing much we can really do to get them back to the country. Or we're looking at, we're looking at to pass some legislation to work on this. But for right now, you know, it's going. To, it could take. It could take. It could take a long time. It could take some time. You know, you have to take. You have to step up and take care of your kids. All right. So, yeah, big dog. This is just how it's going to be. You know, first things first. We're going to have to go after the funds in your bank account. Don't worry. We've already put a lien on that. Next, your car. We're going to repossess. We're going. We're going. We're going to take that into not repossess it. You know, because you it's paid for. But we're going to take. We're going to take. We're going to take that into into uh, custody because you know. You know, again, that's, that's just how it is. And also, it's not like you're going to need it anyway because we're, cause we're, go we're going to suspend your driver's license until we have this sorted out because, you know, driving is a privilege. Also, you know, uh, you don't have a passport. <laughs> don't worry about it, you know, but you're not going to be able to apply for one, on, you know, period, because we're going to take that right away from you too. And, yeah, and, and, and then, yeah, big dog, you know, you're, you're going to need to have – you know, we looked in your account and we took we took what was there. You know, we took what was in your bank account, but there was there's still not enough. Like you know, you your your one hundred thirty two thousand dollars in child support. You know, we we found fourteen thousand dollars between your checking and your savings. You know, we took that, but you your hundred your your one hundred thirty two thousand dollars in child support. So we're gonna have to you know even with the car and everything, that's still not gonna be enough. So you know you're gonna have to really come up with something. Or else we're gonna we're gonna put you in prison, and you have, you know you're gonna you're gonna have to you have to start working in prison, and you know whatever you make in prison, it's not going to commissary, it's going to us. And when we come out of prison, you know you go whatever you make outside of prison, you know we're gonna take that too. You know it's a hard knock life, but you're gonna you're gonna be all right, man. You're gonna be all right, man. You know we'll work with you. We want our money. We want our money. We're gonna get our money, but we're gonna work with you. And you know Tyrone, he's there saying, "What the hell are you talking about? I don't know any of this stuff." He's like, "Yeah, this is how it's always been." Usually there was always someone, you know, to get in between the process. You know, there was the step up men, you know, these dudes, these good for nothing passport kings, passport bros, uh, passport boys. Let's call them what they are. They're passport boys, you know, grabbing their passport, going overseas, you know, leaving leaving their communities. Or, well, whatever the hell this is behind and, and thinking that they're and, and saying they're getting better wives and and, you know, having children over there with these women who are just with them for them for, for money. You know, versus these lovely single mothers who, you know, th these are the women that they belong with. These are the women that actually love them and care about them, even though, you know, they even though you're laying pipe, you know, when they're when they're at work. 
you know, it, it doesn't matter because love is that's love is love. Love is love. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you already have it. Like the video, like the video and turn on notifications to so never miss another video ever again. Tyrone is lashing out at Password Bros for abandoning society. What do you guys think regarding this? I want to hear your thoughts on this. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, Men Walking Away. And cheers.